Hi, how much have you been looking forward to the taco? Looks good. It looks mega. Are you happy now? I was born happy. <laughs> but yes, I'm very happy. Alright, so with taco, what's important with taco is that you always fill it with way too much stuff. So you eat from the top before you can uh, fold it together. It's impossible to film and enjoy your food! With the camera. <laughs> 100% success. But now I'm gonna eat my tacos and enjoy it. You're filming already? Welcome back to another episode of Backroot Live. Behind me we have Virginia Genie in the bottle. Now we are here in Hell. And Hell is one of the most special races in the year as it is the home race for our Andreas Jennifer Backroot. And now we are going to the fan club of Andreas Back Jennifer Backroot. It's the Backroot Blue fans and they are waiting in the Scandic Hotel next to our hotel and that's where we're going to head to now. Oh Andreas, are you looking forward to that? I am actually very much because you know I, I love hanging around with them, see all the happy faces. They are always in good mood and that makes me happy and it makes uh, a good start of the week yeah, and you will be super pumped tomorrow if you listen to that 200 people it's quite powerful I have to say yeah, like, it is powerful uh, and you will have, every time you I hear it stomach. even though I, if I have heard it many times it still gives me like goosebumps and a good feeling inside yeah. let's head over okay, let's, let's head go. over I actually do get a little bit nervous on this stuff there's no need to because I know everyone. Oh yeah yeah yeah! This is so crazy. You ready? Come on! Fucking oh, cool to see all the kids and you know uh, I, I feel so bad when a five-year-old kid start crying he wanted to give me 50 Norwegian krona to sponsor me I said hey use it on ice cream <laughs> you know these kids have so much passion and it's it's really really cool to be someone's idol I got a medal and I got a trophy with uh, some snacks so you know ha happy days in hell <laughs> so that was day one of hell rx yeah, and you need to charge your batteries. Yes, I do. <laughs> so I'll go home, charge the battery, you leave for the hotel. Yeah. I might even stick around for a little party tonight. I guess you are. Yeah. Ciao. So, see you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow. So as you all have seen in the previous vlogs this year, my work situation had changed a little bit. I had some small kids at home and with the change from Hoonigen to EKS, it was maybe the right time to, to spend my time a little bit different. But I'm still around. I take care of a lot of things for him. And finally this weekend, I am gonna meet the team from the inside. We we all know EKS very well from all our years together in the World RX, but this will be my first time together with the team. Just over my shoulder there is my house. Just over my shoulder there is the track. Super proud to welcome the World Championship to this scenery. And you can imagine where he is now. I can smell where he is now. Yeah. Oh, you caught yeah. me. You caught me in a bad moment. How are you, Hank? I'm doing fine. Chasing up the boys. This is the boss you see on TV lining up on pre grid. This is the man. This is the man. Yeah, the show's back. He's the man. What's your guest for this weekend? Uh, well, this is backward life. I think there's a strong chance that Dreyer's back of the win. Backward life. <laughs> Since Snackerud is not around, I found Yanis Baumanis. He will taste waffle me brunos. <laughs> you said it will be good. No, I said it's Norwegian. So now I've been in EK's most secret room. Mm, the big boss. So right now we are inside of Andreas and Matthias' place. 
just a couple of minutes before we had the first free practice and I'm looking through the onboard from last year, trying to understand where to go early on from the practice. They haven't been there because it's tidy. Let's check back later when it gets messy, right? It will get messy. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> it will get messy. The team brings actually not one, not two, not three, but four full trailers with equipment. The gray one is Audi Sport. And then you got the two units which create the paddock setup with the engineers and the parts and the mechanical side and the other one over there with the hospitality which we have been visiting so far. <laughs> New old Hoonigan team member found, Mr. Mansfield, what are you up to? Spotting for Galan Shishrit cool. with the GCK team. So I worked around now, found quite a few of the Hoonigans. Hepa yeah. at the GCK. Yeah, we got some guys in uh, Volkswagen, we got some guys in uh, GRF. And some at Marklund. And there's one in uh, Audi as well. I don't know who that is. Uh, that's the driver dude, yeah. <laughs> the driver. Yeah. That's and I'm, driver. A, I'm at home, so. You're at home? Yeah. And you know why we're both of us are at home? Yeah, we eat too much. We eat too much and yeah. the food costs too much in uh, EKS. <laughs> but we enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, we would enjoy it. Hey, here is the face. Huh? In spectator clothing, huh? Yeah, it's I'm really bad at the I'm really bad at the I'm really bad I'm at Q1, Q2, and uh, I think my vlogging life is coming to an end. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. I've right. tried to take everyone a little bit around with me. I've searched for some old Hoonigan friends. Yeah. They're spread a little bit everywhere. Yeah, you they are. Someone? Did I you tried David. Something. Yeah, yeah. Me. Yeah, and Onslow and Heppa. H Henrik? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And I even found Mats. Mats? Yeah, he was. <laughs> I've also tried something really new, just to be a spectator. Yeah? That what was, was that? That was strange. Strange? Yeah. Huh. Do you think I should take over now? Yeah, because tomorrow is the main race day. It's a silent before a storm, Sunday morning, here in hell, Norway, home soil for me. Hell for me. <laughs> hell for you. <laughs> we are hunting everybody. Uh, I was 7th uh, or 8th overall after day 1, <coughs> and uh, Matthias is 4th. Yeah. I have a job to do. I actually feel pretty good. The energy from the back of your blue fence will make the difference. Yeah. Booyah! Booyah! Super tight in, uh, I would say, from 4th to 8th. I'm in the mix there and uh, I'm on the outside line for Q4. It's gonna be a brutal race with all the good uh, drivers, so it's gonna be a very, very hard one. A bit nervous. Good. So, ready for the semi final. Feeling good. Hard start position. We have uh, Yuan in pole, Fader in second, me in third, Loeb in fourth. Basically, in my eyes, the three quickest guys during the weekend. So we need to go all in to manage to get to the final. I see that it's going to be a tough one. I will give it all. My idea is to go to the Joker. To have such a good start so I can challenge Patter into a Joker. Pretty much like last year. And then go from there all I can. And uh, hopefully have a, we have a good uh, car and good setup. I have the fate with me. So as you can see, he's still focused. But he's in the semi-final. This will be super intense. He's together with Petter, Johan and Sebastian Loeb. Some wolves also hunting him from the back. Let's watch this and see what he can do in semi-final and final. And we give him a new chance to wrap up this log in a few seconds. Had to say after the semi finals now. It was a tough race for you, uh, yeah. man. I was, was it tough for you? Yeah, I had a was it tough for you? Yeah. I think it was yeah. a hard rate, 180 to 220 roundabout. Yeah. He, he doesn't understand, he doesn't no, I understand, don't understand how understand. old the other people <laughs> in this team are. Really. For you, I've been working yeah, you, yeah. with you for a long time, so all the gray here. I'm sorry, but I had a lot of fun fighting my hardest, finishing P2 in the semi final. No headed for the final, starting third. So anything can happen. Well, you, uh,
taken over this vlog today also, but yeah. uh, I, I know I haven't been on the vlogging page today, but we, we have been working hard behind the scenes to, to get up the pace. I felt we were decent uh, in day two here in hell, but uh, not good enough. In the start I, I had a pretty good takeoff, but then it was uh, some proper radicals in turn one. And uh, sometimes I give, uh, other times I take, and this time I took. So uh, this is radicals and that's why we love it. Because you never know what happens in the first corner. And next up is Holy Sweden, the magic weekend. But first I will say thank you to my mechanic. So how do we end it? How do we end it? I want to end it with saying a huge thanks to all the Backroom Blue fans that turned up, all the Norwegians and all the crowd here in hell. Could make sure to come back next year because then we will be better and more prepared than ever before. I really do hope to take back the clean sweep. Congrats to Johan Christoffersen, which are the second driver in the world to win all the qualifying heats, semi-final and final. So with that said, until next time, flat out.